Hey guys, welcome back to my channel here again and today I've got the OnePlus 7 Pro here again and I'm going to talk about the Oxygen OS 11 Open Beta 1 for the OnePlus 7 series so I've been using this software, this beta update for the past one day and so far it's very good, it's very fluid, fast there's no issue for me everything is working fine as you can see so uh, this is the about phone Android 11, alright there we go, the 11 is the 8. Okay, so it's working very great. There's no issue. So, yes, it is recommended for you to make a full factory reset if you install this Android 11 from Android 10 because it is an Android update. Which, if you make a reset, it is better for the apps to optimize because you reinstall them like new. So, you, you feel like your phone is new right now, okay. It's very fast and fluid so let's see the quick settings here as you can see this is the new design also and we have the icons you can customize your icons whichever you want you can drag them like this right you move up and then you can move up oh, so you get the icon you can move down so you remove it go back all right let's go into the settings now we have Wi-Fi as you can see I have my Wi-Fi connected so we do a quick speed test here all right let me do that quickly there we go quick test all right okay I'm going to use this so let's start it all right so the wi-fi speed for my device there's no big issue or it's, it's not affected so it works like before so yeah and my network speed here is about 500 megabytes per second and this is acceptable since it's using wi-fi not using the lan okay so yeah it's working great all right so let's go back into settings we have bluetooth so i turn it on all right i turn it on already and i have the one plus parts here as you can see so once i open the cap of the case all right and then you will see it being connected automatically to my device there we go this is the google fast pair feature which shows a notification whenever it's connected as you can see it's already connected so there's no issue for bluetooth it's working fine all right okay so let's go into bluetooth again all right and the cast yes the cast is also working i just i just tried that just now so you can cast your device to your tv okay for display we have adaptive brightness which I do not use because I normally use the manual mode so we, I can set the brightness I want it to be advanced we have screen calibration uh, it's set to advanced to amelie white gamut okay and QHD resolution as well as 90 Hertz display all right there we go to vision comfort which if you turn on you, it will make the screen a little bit like yellowish so it's easier for you to use during the night time okay reading mode this is like the same one as previous but it's for reading mode which you can have mono or chromatic effect so it's, it depends on your needs dark mode is already enabled so if i'm going to turn off all right it's, everything's going to be in white the quick settings also everything basically yes all right and turn it back that mode so we have the vibrant color effect which makes video more optimized more color more vivid so i turn it on okay and the ambient display which okay you lock your phone one tap this is the ambient display all right you can see your double tap will read the screen but so do that only one tap okay yes you can see your, your clock, your date, your battery, 
entry percentage fingerprint okay fingerprint is also working well so yes you can choose to tap the screen to show or you pick up from out for example like it's right on like that if i'm going to pick it up yes it's ready to turn on the ml display all right okay so that's it font size default display screen also default status bar you can choose your battery percentage you can choose your battery star circle or hidden so i choose battery bar display and network speed if you turn on the time you can choose with seconds which i choose with the seconds icon manager you can choose the icons to be shown on the status bar if you want them or do not want them to show all right auto rotate screen screen saver okay that's it customization here so for this canvas it's not it's currently not working well so i will not show that so it shall be fixed in the next update i guess all right so the call on this ambient display which i showed just now this is one of the style you can choose other style if you want there are, few, there are quite a few, a few for you to choose all right fingerprint animation which are the same as previous data i was i think yeah all right horizon light which lights up the edge on the on the device whenever you receive notification okay the accent color you can choose your color you want or customize your own color system icons you can choose a different shape as you wish icon pack so i'm using the revolution icon pack as you can see and the font is the default roberto okay go into sounds as you can see we have it's like nothing new but we have Dolby Atmos okay so I'm going to show the sound bar here yes there we go a new a little bit different design from previous Android 10 all right so buttons and gesture we can have the navigation or bar or gesture so I'm using this bottom type okay and going back I can swipe from the bottom here to go back instead of on the on the left side all right quick gesture you can turn it on also ability to wake music control you can customize your own apps to open for each different gesture type okay and double click for the power button camera all right that's it for here i we going to apps so we have you can see my apps here i'm going to show all yeah there we go for example so you can clear your cage here all right okay so next is the security as you can see it has the december 1st 2020 security update along with december also google play system update and it has fingerprint installed and also face unlock which i do not use all right and then we have the battery so as you can see okay i'm not sure why this it doesn't update my battery was charged to around 90 percent last night so it doesn't reset the screen on time but i'm getting around six to seven hours of screen on time for normal usage like social media apps spotify youtube facebook okay so i would say it's okay because this is not a new phone and the battery has already degraded but it's working it's, it is supposed to be yeah so it's, it's okay all right as for the storage as you can see here it has 16 gigs of system file occupied and i have around 90 gigs free i think yeah 90 okay 97 yeah so we go into utilities the quick launch parallel apps which you can call an, an another app and these are only supported apps so not all apps are supported for now okay we have the app locker which can lock the individual app you want for example like you borrow your, your phone to your friend so you do not want them to open the gallery app so you can lock the app so they, they wouldn't be able to open it and plus switch so you can switch your old phone to new phone after, after your data 
one plus lab. All right, could apply system the OTG. So OTG is also working. I have tested that the developer option. So one more thing I would, I would, I would let you know is that I'm using the 0 0.5 animation animation scale, which you can see here. I've set it to 0 0.5 for each of them. So it has a faster animation. For example, like if I set back to one, normally the default one is one. As you can see, it is now like slower. So I will always set to 0 0.5. So it feels snappier, it feels faster, all right? So, okay, that's, we have the system update, as you can see, it's the latest of Serial OS 11 beta 1. RAM boost, all right, about phone. So to enable that developer option, you have to go into about phone, and you tap few times on your build number, as you can see, you have already turned it on. So just tap few times, and it will unlock the developer mode for you, all right? So that's all for the settings. Let me show the power menu here. As you can see, it is like new design with power off restart. Also, you have recovery of a loader, which you can enable in developer settings also. Okay. All right. So you swipe to the right. You have the Google, not Google, the OnePlus feed. So there's no more Google feed anymore. There's no more. So let me get this. All right. So let's see the camera. Okay, so it has the new UI, new user interface for camera app. As you can see, it has the new, you can set your video resolution and frame rates over here. You can see the new different layout. We have ultra short HDR, high efficiency video. All right. Okay, so you'll see another camera app, which is, this is the Google Cam, Google Camera. So it's working fine, everything is working. I've tried that. And you can take, I would say, you can take different photos from the stock camera app if you want it. So I can, I will link down the, the link for, for this APK so you can download it and try. All right, let's see the phone app. So it's a, it is also the new design. You have your dialer here. Okay, we have the messaging app, as you can see. All right. So basically, it's working very fine, very fluid. Everything's working great. No big issue. Let's go into Play Store. Yes, everything is working fine. So one more thing about I'll talk about is the dongle, the headphone dongle I have here. So if you are plugged into your phone, all right, so it is working fine. So I can connect to my headphone. If you don't have a type C connector of the, your for headphone, okay. Remove it. All right. So yes, that's, I think that's it. Everything's working great. It is recommended if you want to try it first because the stable update shall come later probably in around two weeks later maybe or even one month i'm not sure or so but definitely you can it is recommended to make a full factory reset if you are going to install this because it is going to be much much better yeah all right so that's all for the review for the one of, of the oneplus 7 pro here on the oxygen os 11 so if you have any question, you can comment down below and I'll try to answer your question. And thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.